Science. Marine life is increasingly suffering from man-made noise pollution, and this is set to get worse in the years to come with the growth of offshore industry. Mammals, reptiles, fish and invertebrates that live in the ocean are affected at various levels by human-generated noise, which disturbs their ability to communicate and conduct normal activities, such as reproduction. Now a French scientist has developed the equivalent of Google Earth underwater, a network which allows any web user to listen in and surf the sea floor. A bioacoustics lab at the Technical University of Catalonia near Barcelona has launched a research program entitled LIDO, which stands for Listen to the Deep Ocean Environment. Their aim is to develop techniques for monitoring marine sounds and assess the influence of artificial noise on marine organisms and ecosystems. Researchers receive acoustic signals from underwater sensors all around the world. The sound is identified to find out whether it's natural or generated by humans. The man behind this project is French scientist Michel André. Nous utilisons des microphones, ce sont des hydrophones, c'est des microphones sous-marins. We use underwater microphones called hydrophones which allow us to capture sounds in that environment. Once we have captured these sounds, they are analyzed in real time through a circuit which tells us whether they come from a cetacean or whether they come from vessels to help us understand the interaction between artificial sounds and natural sounds. The hydrophones can be placed at depths of up to 3,000 meters. The data is either transmitted back to shore via optical fiber cables or radio linked via antennas from moored stations. The devices provide valuable information from previously unexplored parts of the ocean, available in real time via internet, giving researchers a global map of ocean noise. It's a global network. It started in 2002 thanks to the Rolex Awards for Enterprise, which we were awarded to avoid collisions between large cetaceans and vessels. As you can see on this map, all these dots indicate the locations of our different observatories. The sea is never silent. Here you can have the whistling of cetaceans, but these marks indicate the presence of vessels. Initially aimed at avoiding collisions between large sea animals and ships, the project is also an internet-based tool for all ocean users, such as oil and gas companies or windmill parks, to take steps to reduce their noise output. Now let's carry out a test on a boat equipped with an underwater microphone to check the quality of the data transmitted from the bottom of the sea. Can you explain in further detail what these devices are, what this technology is? This is at the heart of our technology. In this box we have placed the slabs that analyze all the sounds that come from the sea and this information is then transmitted in real time to the rest of the world via the internet. The network has prompted concerns by the Navy over national security threats in regions where military operations are underway. To reduce that threat, the US and Canadian navies have struck a deal with the scientists that effectively allows them to censor the sound of naval operations. But as the network spreads, it seems inevitable that even the military will have to accept that the ocean's acoustic environment doesn't belong to anyone.